What's up, guys, and welcome. Today's workout, we have a monster Monday. You know the deal, a 30, 60, 90. Three to one work to rest ratio. For every three seconds of work, you'll get one second of rest. But before we get into that, let's go ahead and warm up. So why don't we start with our feet, shoulder width apart between hips to shoulder width. There's an imaginary chair behind you. I want you guys to send your hips back and down, tap that booty right in that seat and drive right back up again. How's everyone feeling today? Feeling good, Hannah, let's go. All right, go. we got Tanner over to my right, Grasshopper, T-Money, T-Pain, you know the deal. We got my husband, Paolo, over to the left. Pump Woo. it, Paolo. Turbo, if he's feeling spicy, who knows? Let's go ahead and get into some jumping jacks, bringing those feet all the way together and back out past your shoulders every time. I hope everyone's feeling great and you guys are ready to get into things. This is FIR 2.0, baby, so you know the deal. The sky is the limit. There is no finish line. We're gonna continue to push that envelope and see what else we can do. Awesome work. Let's go for some trunk twisters. Feet again, shoulder width apart, soften those knees, hips and knees are facing forward. I'm just gonna turn my torso right behind me, taking my eyes with my hand that is right behind my back. Awesome. Breathe, don't eat your hair. If you do, the gains are great. Just keep it up. Nice work. Now keep your feet where they are. Reach your hands up as high as you can and then in between your feet. On the floor behind you. Good. Breathe. Nice job. And now let's go for some butt kicks. Some ass kickers. Peeling your heel right up to your butt to try and touch it. But in a polite way, okay? How are you doing, Tanner? Doing good. Tanner's looking stacked. He's looking strong, but you will be following him if you are a beginner at this program. And now let's talk about that, right? We've got beginner, intermediate, advanced. That doesn't mean in your fitness game. That means in this program, you can be the world's strongest man or the best endurance athlete. Putting intense cardio and strength together is a whole different world. And relax, let's go for some toy soldiers. Right foot, back to try and touch your left hand at the top. Good. Combining both worlds is very different. Accelerated cardio, it is using both aerobic pathways and it's gonna challenge you no matter who you are or what you do. So, if this is the first time that you've been training FYR, take it from the beginner, no matter where you're at, trust me. Let's build those foundational blocks to get you exactly where you need to go. Three, two, and one. Let's go for some reverse lunges. Back and down, two 90 degree angles, chest is up nice and high, driving up through that front heel. Good stuff. Now, shoulder circles forward, just bring it out. Good, we got a full body workout today. It's a monster. Monster Mondays, never gets easier, but you get better. Shoulder circles backwards with the right. Good. Backwards with the left. Nice work. And now real quick, why don't we talk about what we have for our workout? For the first 30 seconds today, you're gonna go for fire feet but I'm gonna keep you on your toes. It's gonna be a drill. Then your rest for 10. 60 seconds, we have a kettlebell hike. Then we have 90 seconds of an AMRAP. AMRAP stands for as many rounds as possible. Four, four, four. We're gonna start with four double kettlebell squats. Into four double kettlebell press, followed by four strict deadlifts. Now, the only challenge is, is you're gonna hold on for 90 seconds. Woo. Time under tension, baby. We are leveling up since FYR 1.0, and here, is where I want to challenge you. We can all move fast, but can you move slow with control? Can you own every single inch of your movement? If you can't, your weights are too heavy. Go back to basics, learn strength, not momentum. And we're going to see the difference between them both here. You guys feel ready? Oh yeah. Go. Are you ready to do this? Let's go, baby. So grab your two kettlebells so they're close by. Make sure you got that heavy kettlebell as well for our 60 seconds of hikes. But for now, we're gonna start with our fire feet. Our first round is gonna start, feet wider than the shoulders, let's get a count down. Let's go for five. Get it, Hannah. Four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Soften those feet, nice and light on those toes. Now every time I clap, I want one tuck jump. Oh, what's up? Go, up, right back to it, come on. Faster, you've got 10 seconds in, 20 to go. And again, let's go, up. Keep going. If the tuck jump is too much, let's go for one jumping air squat. Ready, go. Awesome work, great job. Let's get, let's get, let's get it. Up, good. Three, two, and one. Time, rest. You have 10 seconds to breathe in and to breathe out. Grab that heavy kettlebell. Every rep is like an individual piece. Don't rush this, are you ready? Soften those knees, hinge those hips, 
Lock in those lats. Are you ready? Go. In, up, in, down. Key points. Engage your glutes. Engage your quads. I want power out those hips. For lack of better term, you've got to hunt the air and squeeze your ass. I know you all know how to do that. Breathe. In, up, in, down. Great job. Nice work. Now, if you notice over here, the idea behind what we're doing is shifting the power from behind us, go, from behind us all the way through to the end of the bell. Generating momentum from the hips and the ass, not pulling with your arms. Relax your arms. Your arms are the only thing holding on so the kettlebell doesn't land in through the camera right now. Let's go, come on. In, up, in, down. Maximum effort with every single rep. Are you ready? Right here, lock it in. I'm with you guys, let's go. In, up, in, down. Breathe, one more, three, two, one, and time. Great job, Ooh. rest it out, shake it off. You know the deal. We got four, four, four. We have squat, press, and deadlift. We are not gonna let go of these weights for 90 seconds. Time under tension, are you guys ready? Ooh. Here we go, get ready, three, two, one, and we're off. Here we go, front rack position, four squats, let's go. With my timing, one, breathe, two, three, four. Bring your feet underneath your hips. Press all the way up, that's one, control. And again, two, keeping your ribs tucked as you press. Three, good, and four. Awesome work, keep your feet where they are. We're now gonna hinge, hips go back and forth. Driving up through your heels, squeezing that booty. That's three and four. Don't drop them, clean them. Front rack position. You guys keep going. Let me point some key things out here. If this is too much for you, all we're gonna do is decrease our reps. And Sorry, not decrease our reps, decrease our weight. Maybe slow our pace down here. Good. Satana really wants to hold on like this because it's balancing on his bicep. I'm gonna challenge him to keep his wrist on top of his forearm. Locked and loaded, vertical, right here. Get it, oh yeah. Very nice, that's two, that's three. Good, ribs are tucked, core is engaged, everything nice and tight, that's four. We got a beast mode over here. We leveled up since 1.0, come at it. We got 10 seconds, let's go, drive. Exhale on the effort, always. It gets a lot easier that way. We've got three, two, one, time. So that was round one. You're probably thinking, well, Hannah didn't do much. What the fuck? It's all good. I'm here to coach you. I showed you what's good. We've got beginner, intermediate, and I'm gonna be joining you for an advanced. Now you know what we're doing. Take a deep breath in. We've got 15 seconds and we're gonna start right. again. We have two more rounds of this. Sound good? Oh yeah. You guys are sweating. Are you sweating buckets? All right, they're a little quiet, don't worry. They're gonna get more and more here. Three, two, one, hit it. Let's go, fast feet. Every time I clap my hands, I want one burpee. Go! Right back to it. Every time I clap my hands, I want one tuck jump. Go! Every time I clap my hands, one burpee plus one tuck jump, go! I didn't clap my hands, but it's okay. Let's go, we've got 10 seconds, all the way. Another burpee tuck jump, go! In five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Great job. Oh, uh, now we're going for our hikes. Now we know the deal, I'm gonna work with you. Get your kettlebell ready. Here we go, three, two, one. Hinging at the hips, are you ready? In, up, in, down. In, up, in, down. Squeeze your ass. Squeeze your quads and relax those arms. I want to hear you breathing, boys. Exhale on that effort. Let's go. Good. Breathe. You have 30 seconds to go. So Tanner's coming up at just a little too high. So I want him to come to shoulder height. And that's it. Back down again. Relaxing the arms, generating that momentum from the hips. Paolo over here. Very nice. Now I'm going to challenge Paolo. Keep going. And I'm gonna tell him, keep your feet flat on the floor. Myself included, we always want our heels to come off. Generate the power, keep those feet grounded into the floor, toes are rooted into the ground. We got less than 10 here, come on. Here we go, got last one with you. Five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. 
Hey, you guys ready for a challenge? We are. Okay, 15 seconds, I'm coming with you. Breathe. Grab those two light weights. We're going four, four, four in 10 seconds. You guys all right? Oh yeah. All right, they're a little quiet. I can't hear them. We're working. Are you ready? Three, Come on, two, one. With my pace, time under tension. Four, do not let those kettlebells rest on your body. One, come on, don't just drop. We can all move from point A to point B. But can you move with intent? Own every single inch, how many? Four. That was four, feet together, press. One, bring it back down. Now you ready, I'm gonna challenge you. Two, on rep three, stop halfway. One, two, three, press. Bring it back down. Rep four, stop halfway. One, two, three, four. Press, bring it back. Deadlift, go. Hinge, drive. Send those hips back like you're trying to touch your ass on the wall behind you. Once your hips cannot go back any further, do not keep dropping your chest. Drive up through those heels and breathe. That was four. Bring it back up, let's go. One, shh. two, come on. We've got three and four. Feet together, press. One, first two, you're on your own. Two, second two, stick with me. You ready? Shh. Up, control, one, two, three. Four seconds on this one, let's go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Deadlift, you've got 10 seconds. One, two, keep those ribs tucked. Three, and four. Time. Great work, guys. How you doing? Hurting. All right, we've got 30 seconds. Give it to me right here. And maybe you understood what I was trying to say. We can all move from point A to point B, right? Drop into our squats. No problem, you can do a thousand. But if you just stop for a second, Connect your mind to your body and squeeze, engage. Every single inch of that movement, you own it. If I could tell you to stop and freeze, you could. You ready? Three, two, one. Last round, let's hit it. Five feet. Every time you hear me, let's go top jump. Go! Hop! Right back to it. Hop! Right back to it. Hop! Up! You've got 10 seconds. Run it out. Everyone get three inches lower. Go. Ha! You've got 12 seconds here, come on. 10, Bobby, go. Nine, seven, six, five, four, three, tuck jump, one. Yeah, great work guys. Shake it out. You've got five seconds so we go back to our hikes. I'm gonna join you in this one, are you guys ready? Oh, three, yeah. two, it, one, go. Now, big key points here. Remember, hips up. Number two, remember to never overextend. What I mean by that is do not lean back. To help me stop doing this, I'm gonna squeeze my quads, squeeze my butt. Now it's really hard to get beyond there. Let's go again. Come on, I'm with you guys. And down, good. In, up, in, down. Power, up, in, down. We've got 30 seconds, let's go. And down, let's go. In, drive out those heels, squeeze that butt, squeeze those quads, and bring it back to me, come on. Keeping those lats nice and tight, shoulders are retracted. You have 12 seconds. Who's with me? Yeah. Go. Up, back down, let's get it. Five. You've got seven seconds, come on. Five, four, last time, three, two, one. And time, wowzers. Shake it off. You've got 15 seconds here. Breathe in through your nose. Exhale out through your mouth. Ha! Here we go, 10 seconds, four, four, four. Who's ready? All right. Squat, press, and deadlift in three, two, one. Clean it up. Here we go. Squat, one. Breathe, two. Inhale through your nose on the way down. Exhale through your mouth on the way up. That's four, feet together. Press, one, keep those ribs tucked, two, good, I dare you to try and press without letting your top lip curl, go. Good stuff, one more, four, deadlifts, hit it. Keeping that whole body under stress. We're shifting the stimulus to different pieces of our body, but the body is still working. We haven't relaxed. Are you ready? 
You think Paolo's ready? He looks a little sweaty. Let's Paolo's go. Ready. Right up, hit it. We've got one. Breathe. Two. Remember, none of this. Three. Don't rest on your body. Four. Feet together. Press. Stop halfway. Press. Good, bring it back. Stop halfway for two seconds. One, two, press. Good, you're on your own. Press, hit those last set of deadlifts. One, come on. Two, you have three, and four. You've got 10 seconds. Squat away, let's go. That's one, breathe, two, three. You got three, two, one, and time. Guys, that was incredible. Shake it off. A is done. B, let's talk about it. 30 seconds of sprawls over your bell. So I want you to grab your one bell, place it right in the middle. Hands on the floor, tap your feet behind you, jump over your bell. You're gonna go back and forth for 30 seconds. 60 seconds, alternating kettlebell squat cleans. Feet either side of your kettlebell in your squat position. Butt down, chest up. I want you to stand up with your legs, clean your kettlebell, fall back into your squat and stand up again. Notice that I'm spiraling my arm to help it Avoid slamming on the back of my forearm. When we're done there, we have four, four, four. Four push-ups, hands right outside of your armpits, feet are backing together, keeping everything nice and tight. After that, we're gonna bring our feet right underneath us into our beast position. Bear crawl, break dances. So from here, right foot goes down, right arm comes up, left foot comes through. Back to that beast, left foot goes down, left arm up, right foot through. If you've done FYR 1.0, you know those very well. Then you're gonna finish with four shoulder taps. Keeping everything nice and tight. Trying to anti-rotation on those hips and on that spine. For four, it's an AMRAP. You guys know the deal, but here's the question I have for all of you. Can you do that for 90 seconds without letting your knees touch the floor? Huh, that is a challenge right there. It doesn't mean fast, it means slow and in control. 100% control. We've got 10 seconds, guys, what do you think? Let's get it. Let's get it! Come on. Here we go. Grab that bell, put it in the middle. I'm gonna go over this in three, Two, one, hit it. Tanner's here, hands on the floor, stepping back. Stepping back in and jumping from side to side. If you're not sure if you can make it or not, don't try, stand behind it and use it as a guide. Paolo's over here, doing a nice mini hop. If you want to get challenged right here and go advance, hands on the floor, tap your feet and tuck jump right over the top of your bell. We've got less than 10, let's go. Bring it, breathe, all the way, three. Two and one, time. Alternating kettlebell squat cleans. Feet either side of your kettlebell, butt down, chest up. Hit it, go. Drive through your heels, clean and drive. So I'm gonna point out a few things here. Tanner, if he was to have a shirt on, which I know he doesn't, take a look at this banging bod. FYR 1.0 did some good here. I wanna be able to see the logo that's on your shirt. So if your butt is up and your head is down, I'm not gonna be able to see it. We wanna drive through those heels, Bring your chest nice and proud. And remember, it's a spiral of the wrist. Drop that elbow so the kettlebell will move around you. Paolo's over here. He's increasing his weight, challenging himself, but having 100% of control. He's not just dropping into the base of his squat. He's holding on, receiving, engaging his core as he descends and stands back up again. We got 20 seconds, let's do this together. I'm gonna join you guys, let's go synchronize. Are you ready? Go. Good, breathe, inhale on the way down, exhale shh, on the effort, you've got it. Pull those shoulders back and together, ribs are tucked in, core is tight. You've got three, two, and one, rest. Good job. Good burn. So, this is where things get crazy. You know the deal, we've got four, 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 push-ups, break dances, and shoulder taps. 10 seconds till we begin, I'm gonna join Tanner back here. If you're a beginner in push-ups and just not quite there yet, don't worry. Please go from your knees, don't let anything touch the floor but your chest. In three, two, one, hit it. Corp scoring that, imagine you have two handles in your hands, turn them out before you go for your push-up, beautiful. If you're intermediate and push-ups from your knees are just too easy, but too hard from your feet, I want you to go halfway. Down from your feet, drop to your knees and push back up. Very nice, when you're done, bringing those feet right underneath you. Great dancers, beautiful, other side. Underneath leg, full extension, we're going for external rotation, turn that foot out and reach with your toe. Four reps total, step your feet back, then we're gonna go for shoulder taps. Like you're stuck in molasses, nice and slow for four reps. Total control, try and avoid 
the rotation of the hips. Breathe, that is four. Right back into your push-up, go. One, two, three, four. Feet come underneath your hips. Right foot down, right arm up, left foot through. That's one, keeping it low. Two, don't let your foot touch the floor. Three, and four. Step your feet back, knees still don't touch the floor. We've got 30 seconds. Touch your hand, that's two. Good, three, good, and four. Push-ups, let's go. Pick up that pace. Two, three, four. Break dancers, you've got 15 seconds. One, two, three. Palm is facing away from you. Four, step it back, slow it down. You've got seven seconds. Spread those fingertips. Dig your feet into the ground. Three, two, and recover. Wowzers. That's one down, two more to go. We're gonna go back to your sprawls over your bell, grab that light kettlebell, put it on the floor, shake those legs off, shake those shoulders off. We're gonna go again. What do you guys think? Shoulders Bur are burning. How are we feeling? Feeling good. Shoulders are burning, right? But the great thing is, is if you play with your break dancers or you play with your shoulder taps, shift your weight back and forth and feel the stimulus around the muscle group shift. Three, two, one, let's go. Come on, tap, land, jump. Tap, land, jump, breathe. That's right, we've got 20 seconds to go here. Come on, breathe it out. Every rep, you take a new breath. Exhale on the effort, we're halfway. Good, remember, beginner, you can always step. Intermediate, you can just jump from side to side. Advanced, get those knees up. Five, four, three, and rest. Great job, guys, shake it off. You know what it is? Alternating kettlebell squat cleans. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Butt down, chest up, drive. That's one, breathe. Two, good, keep going. I reminded you on round one, but just again, reminder here. I want you to drive through your heels. As you drive through your heels, you're gonna attack that booty right through those glutes, a very strong muscle group. You wanna use it, not your lower back. If you feel anything in your lower back on this exercise, your hips are not low enough. Use your leg, not your back. Breathe, looking good over here. I love the negative with Paolo, nice and controlled, eccentric. Staying in 100% control over every single inch of the movement, you've got this. Keep that core tight, shoulders are pulled back. Now you can work on that form. Work on your technique, the spiral, the corkscrew within the clean so that you Work for the kettlebell, and the kettlebell doesn't own you. Let's go, five, four, three, two, time. All right, so now I'm gonna come with you. We're gonna do this together. If you can stick with my pace, bring it, baby. We're going down to the floor. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, let it out. You've got five seconds, get ready. Five, four, three, two, one. Push-ups, I want you guys to go tempo. Slowly, that's one, stick with my pace. Slowly, that's two, come on, slow. Three, one more, and four. Bring your knees in. Slow and control break dances like you're moving in slow motion. Good, total control. Every part of your body is working. If we rush it, we often just fall from point A to point B. Step it back to your beast. Feet come out, staggered in the back for control stability. That's one, squeeze that ass. That's two, three. It's like your hips and your ribs are fighting each other. Four, push-ups, fast push-ups now, let's go. One, two, three, four. Ballistic, fast, moving with those break dances. Two, three, four. Slow it down for your plank shoulder taps. One, two, Three and four. I'm playing with your tempo here. Push up slowly. Quick. Slowly. Quick. Break dances. Knees in. Slow and controlled. I'm gonna wait for you guys right here. Hold it. That's one. Over to the other side. Hold it. That's two. Too fast for three, two, one. Time. Ah. Great job. You like that? 
Sha, sha, I'm going to play with your tempo now on round three as well. You've got one more to go. Not bad, huh? We're going to finish this workout strong. Third and final round, bringing that heat. Who's ready? Let's go. All right, take a deep breath Let's in. Go. Say a little prayer, because I'm coming for you. Are you ready? Ha, I'm ready. Shake those feet off, man. This is it. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Come on. Up. Three. Let's go. Tuck. Knees up. Ha. 20 seconds to go. All the way. Please make sure you land on flat feet. Protect those knees. Protect those hips. That back. Let's go. 10 seconds now. Stick with me. At seven, six, five, four, one more, three, two, one. Ha! Looking good. Keep it calm and composed. Take a deep breath in. Stretch that diaphragm. Three, two, one. Let's go. Breathe. Good. If your back is having to round to reach the kettlebell like this, chances are you're not using your legs, right? Drop your hips, drive up through those heels, receive and come back up. Good, breathe. We've got 40 seconds on the clock. Stay with it now. Come on, breathe. As you start to get more used to this movement, a little tip for you, your thumb facing your opposite heel as you pick up. Good, put it down, set up for your next rep. Let's go. 20 seconds, breathe, all the way, ha, you have 15 on the clock, we're going to shift from the lower body to the upper body, 10 seconds, let's go, let's go Paolo, let's go Grasshopper, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, time, oh boy, take a deep breath people, shake it off, so, I'm going to mess with you. If you can, no matter where you're at, stick with my tempo. How do you make it easier? You drop to your knees if you need to. You guys ready? Three, two, one. Slow. Inhale. Slow. That's two. Come on. Slowly. That's three. Last one. Four. Feet in. Break dances slow. One, I'll wait for Tanner right here. I got you, bro. We're a team. Other side. Good. Three. So, Tanner, as you go, see how your palm wants to be facing to you? Face it away. That's four. Bring your feet back. Slow and controlled. That's one. Don't let those hips turn. You squeeze that ass, it's going to help you. Two. Three. And four. Push up fast. One. Two. Three. Four. The end, quick. One, two, three, four. Slow and controlled. One. We got 30 seconds. Come get it. Two, three, and four. Push ups. One quick. One, slow. One quick. One, slow. Good. Break dances. Slow. Waiting for you. Feel good? Good. Other side. Two. Hold. And again. Three. Hold. Last one. Five. Four. Three. Two. Time. Woo. Yeah, baby. Monster Mondays. Wipe that sweat in the book. You owned it. We had a great balance of high intensity, but also slowed it down for time under tension. And here's the deal. We're all fit, right? We can all move from point A to point B, but can you move with control? If you can move things fast, chances are momentum is behind you. But the ultimate strength is owning your movement, slowing it down. You're gonna see this throughout this program. If we move like this, you can lift all the way. Anyone can do that, but not many people can have the strength and control to own every single inch. And that's what this is all about, is building that threshold building that capacity to want more and to do more. FYR 1.0 is over. It ain't over, it's never over. There is no finish line. Once you reach that goal, well guess what? Next I want to hit here, then here, then here. There is no finish line. The second you stop, you get comfortable. 
Fuck comfort. Comfort doesn't get you anywhere. Getting uncomfortable, learning to love that feeling will take you to the next place in life. I'm Hannah Eden, proud of you, and we'll see you soon. Nice work, guys. Hiya. Good shit. Boom.